Hi, right, welcome students. We're working on a card game and I've made a bunch of to-do items for students to work on and I've given them plenty of time to do it and the ones that have done it have done it and the ones that haven't haven't but now I'm going to post the solution to each of this. Let me just walk you through what we have here. Main.java is our main project that's going to let us test out this card game that we're going to create. It's going to be a standard card game but it something that you can expand because every all the functionality of a card game will be in it. At this point we created uh, two enums, ranks and suits. So an enum is a data type that is like a class where you have a set number of members. So if you think about it, suits in a deck of cards, your standard playing cards would have clubs, diamonds, uh, spades, and hearts. And so there's four of those. They never change, right? So the suits never change. Ranks never change, uh, except for the ace, depending on whether it counts as a 1 or an 11, depending on the game that you're playing. So it all that depends. Um, and then we created an, a class for the card, and then we created a card collection. We're actually going to change that in just a moment. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and walk through each one one at a time. Let's take a look at the card. As you can look on here, um, we're going to kind of walk through here. I'm going to pause at certain points and then ask some questions on this Edpuzzle video where you can get points for each one that you get. So we have the card class and we've given it some private fields, suit, rank name, rank value. We've initialized them to nothing basically. And um, you can reference the Oracle article on classes, this link right here. All right, this is our constructor. We know it's the constructor because the name of the fun the method is the exact same name as the class. So that's a constructor. And all right, so we're going to give it ranks and we're going to give it, well, let me figure this out. So um, I'm going to pause the video and I'm um, ask you some questions about the constructor. Now that we're back, let's do this. Ranks, rank, because we need to know what the rank is. Now this is the variable, and this is the class. Okay, so whenever we do parameters, we have to indicate the data type. That suits. So we have to indicate the data type here, and then what we're going to call it. We'll call it rank, little r, suits, little s. So rank and suit are the objects. And then we're going to put this dot suit. This is to, uh, this allows us to store, each individual card will store its own suit by doing this, this dot suit. This dot is referring to the class or the actual object we're referring to. And then this suit dot get suit is coming from the parameter here. So it's grabbing this outside suit. We're going to tell it a suit. We're going to get it. And then rank name, um, rank name equals, notice we have rank name up there. We don't need to give a this because there's no, there's no confusion. And so where we're going to get the rank, we're going to get it from the rank, which means we're going to need to get this. Now, it's not going to like it to begin with because I did this on ranks and suits as well. Uh, and we'll go over that in a moment. And then on here, all right, we, we need a rank dot get value, and the variable here is rank value. Notice how I just get the highlighted part and then focus on it. So that is the card constructor. In a moment, we'll get into rank and we'll talk about it. Then uh, override. Um, this is to string, and um, notice there's a return statement. And uh, notice also on public int get value, there's also a return statement. So I'm going to pause the video now, ask you some questions about it, see how well you understand it, and then we'll come back and I'll go through the answers. Okay. Well, this is referring to what data type it returns. It's going to be void or a data type. In our case, it's going to be a string. So we write string. And then now we're going to do this format. And so if you think about it, we have the blank of and suit. So if you think about it, it's going to be the rank name, not its value, rank name of the suit. And then finally, if we're going to get the value, we want to return the value of the rank. And that's rank value. And how do we know that? 
if you look at it, we start to type it out, you'll realize rank value is the only integer that's a part of the class. And there you have it. So now the card is completely coded out. This is what it looks like. Anything that's read and underlined just means it hasn't seen it yet, and we'll deal with that. You need to write your code, do all that, that'd be great. Just want to point out the at override means there already is a two string method that would return, and if you don't override it, two string is just going to return the memory address where it's found. And we don't want to do that, we want to do it differently. So we're going to take that functionality and override it to do this instead. So we're just going to do this string.format, and then we're going to format the string so that we get that end result. Now since rank.getName doesn't like it, let's go deal with ranks next. And the next two one we're going to do with ranks, and we're going to deal with suits. These are our enumerators. But let's just go ahead and save changes at this point if you haven't done so yet. I'm going to go to ranks. All right, now we have a lot on here. This is an enumerator. And so if you want to, you can go get this article and read it and come back. But I've already given you enough hints as to what's going on. Just because you see an underline doesn't mean there's only one item in there. So uh, pause for a moment. I'm going to ask you some questions about this, see how well you know it, and then come back. All right, I assume you're back. Using the pattern here, we decided to score ace as a value of 1, 2 is a 2, 3 is going to be 3. And so, and so the idea here is this is, well, this is the integer, so we can compare values one to another, see which one's higher or lower. This is how we're going to display the card, and then we'll do the same thing for the rest of these. And I'm going to go ahead and just come back to this, and um, I'm just going to pause the video, do the rest of this, and we'll come back. Um, yeah. Now, I just want to, I've got to this part here, went ahead and filled them out. We'll get to 10, and you'll notice Jack is worth 10 as well. So this is, uh, depends on what kind of game you're doing. If you want to make sure that in this game, you know, like if you're going to do a blackjack game, 10s, jacks, kings, and queens are all a rank of 10. But if you need to, where you can compare one to another, we you can um, give additional values if you want. In our case, we're going to keep it like this as if it were a blackjack game, but you get the idea. And of course, the next one is queen. We're also going to give it a value of 10. You could also do a um, another way of dealing with um, these. Uh, by the way, queen and king are all caps because they are constants. And so um, the other thing you can do is you can use indexing to determine, you know, which one is higher. We can also do an additional feature, additional item here, which is going to give it like a one, a two, or a three, you know, after this. And this would be its um, its uh, trump value. So um, that would be another way you could deal with it. You could do just like we did here. Okay, so this is what the enumerator should look like. You'll notice we're separating out each one with a comma, and I'm putting them in between the line because it would take too long to scroll all the way down. Um, so this is an acceptable way of doing it. Notice how we're giving it two values in the parentheses instead of one. So we're going to have a value and a name, two different private fields to represent the value of it so we can compare one to another and the name so when we display it. Notice we don't need to make it uppercase. All right, so now um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the methods that are here. I'm going to ask you some questions and we'll come back and we'll see if you did it right. Of course, this fill in the blank should be pretty easy. We already have a this dot value equals, well, we already know it should be value, right? So this pattern is a very common pattern in uh, a constructor method. And of course, we're using the this again. And as a reminder, this is a way of distinguishing between the actual private field of the enumerator and the passed in value here. Another way of addressing it is to just give value and name different um, different names. Sometimes people will actually make these with an underscore. They might do this and they might do that. 
and then it becomes easier. You don't need the this anymore. You can just do the little underscores like so. Now, we're not going to do it that way, but that is one way of dealing with it. This is how we're dealing with it. And, and save. Now we're good. All right. Public int get value. What are we going to return? It's an integer. Which one is the integer? That's value. All right, get name. I'm going to make that the return value here, which is string. And then we already know its name. We know it's a string. That's how you know to put string there. And then we got to return it. So we use the return keyword. And this is what an enumerator looks like. Hold on, let me just uh, collapse this to do list. And then this is what an enumerator that has two possible values would look like from ace to king. And there you have it. I think we have just enough time to cover suits in this video, and then we will go to testing the card collection. We'll build it and test it out. So we go to suits. This is going to be very, very similar. So you want to use the context here. Go ahead and see if you can answer the questions related to what we're doing here after having just done it before, and then we'll come back. Now we already know in the string here it's hearts, so we're going to write out hearts. I'm going to get rid of those underscores. Clubs, we put in a string like so. And then you need to know what the last suit of a card game is. That is diamonds. And then I'm going to go ahead. And then I just want to remind you when you're doing your enumerator, in this case suits, you end with a comma, comma. You separate them all out with commas except for the last one, and we put the semicolon there. We create a variable called val. And now let's just finish this out. This dot, that would be val. And then we're going to return the suit. So that would be val. Save changes here. Save changes over here. Let's go to main. And it will know if it works by when we run it, can we create a card and return it? So in order to run it, because we're doing VS Studio, you might notice there's a run and debug here. We'll click run, and it should pop open in just a moment. Ooh, it doesn't like card collection. I'll just say proceed, see if it lets us still do it. It does. Ace of diamonds, there you have it. Okay, so in my next tutorial, we'll go over the card collection and the solution for that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.